One of the biggest obstacles for people that are especially out of state or not here full time is finding the right builder to build specs or custom home builds. So as part of my services, I really want to introduce you guys to some of my go-to builders. That's why I have Doug Turner with me, the Turner Legacy Homes. Tell us a bit about services you offer. Okay, um, well, we do a, a wide variety of things. We built homes for sale from spec that are finished like this one we're looking yeah. at today. And that's one of the things we do. And then if you want to, if you, if you want to purchase a lot, design a custom home from scratch, I can help you with that entire process. We're going to see this home today and, and you'll see for yourself, there's just a lot of quality here. Awesome. Let's go check it out. So one of the best things we can do, especially through video, is give you an exact representation of one of Doug's curb bills that he has here at 30 String Lily Cove in phase five of watercolor. You did an amazing job with this house. Tell us a little bit about the design process and your thought process around this main first floor. Okay, the main first floor is to try to keep everything open. Right. A lot of space and bringing the outside in because we're in Florida and we do a lot of our living outside. We have these wonderful porches that, with these wonderful nano doors that are gonna completely open up so the porch becomes part of the inside of the house brings you right out to the pool right. and you've got a great waterfall sound you have that water run yeah. and you have your outdoor kitchen outside so it all comes together yeah and i'll say one of the ideals of being in watercolor is everybody wants an indoor outdoor living space so as a builder it's incredibly important that you incorporate that in you did exactly that with just under a thousand square feet of outdoor living space correct let's talk a little bit about this kitchen the beautiful kitchen so the idea is you want everybody to be involved in the with the kitchen as far as what's happening the parties, the, the, the meal prep, and everything here is top of the line. Wolf, Sub-Zero, and top end marquee cabinets, um, just, and all the detailing, the under cabinet lighting. And, you know, we have the 48 inch Sub-Zero, sub freezer, you got ice maker there, what you'd expect. And this is really cool, Wolf steam oven. This is makes the best vegetables, it best meats. It's it's awesome. It's so easy. You just turn it on and you fill it up with a couple of cups of water. That's it, and then you're done. And of course, you have your microwave. And below here, while you're prepping, some things are ready before others. You've got a great warming drawer. Yeah. So, and you can adjust the temperature on all that. I would say, from a functionality standpoint of being in this kitchen that phase five, there's no short term rentals, right? So we want to think about practical living here in phase five watercolor. And I think all these little tools and everything like that, it's not anything you're gonna see in the other four phases. Yeah, it makes cooking with your family. You have everything you need. All top of the line stuff. I mean, you see this 48 inch dual fuel by, by Wolf. And then you got this 1300 CFM blower. So everything gets sucked out of here. With these cabinets, we wanted to make it a little interesting to blend some natural, you know, quarter sawn oak. Clear stain, we did that here on the bar cabinet, and we did it here in the touches with the shelves, with the lighting, and over on the fireplace mantel, kind of tying all that together, which, which blends in nicely with the floor. So that brings the, you know, your kitchen's all here and all custom molding throughout. There's some, you know, we, we don't spare any cost on the molding. Pleth blocks, you know, quad crown around, and this whole room has your nickel gap uh, wood wood paneling uh, so not there's no drywall on the walls in this in this room except for just a little bit behind the kitchen because it's all has your uh, backsplash tile which is you know that classic watercolor look is blue and gold it's just really classic watercolor and so now we're in the dining room so it's it's all connected it feels big that was the idea so this house you recently finished here in January. So brand new construction, never lived in before. But again, we talked about earlier, this combination of functional indoor and outdoor living. Show us how to open up these doors. These Euro doors, the interesting thing about them is they're finished with wood. And a lot of times they're not, they're metal. And, and enabled us to stain this, really making these doors enhance the way this room feels. And then you know, this is your walk door. This is the door you use every day and, it's, and it works great. And you can open these anytime you want or leave them shut, however you want, you feel like living that day. They're really smooth. And so you just open these panels up, they slide nicely. Now you're bringing your pool in and your porch 
And this space just expanded by a couple, you know, almost 200 square feet. I'd say this feels like definition of luxury here in watercolor, especially in phase five. A lot of these homes are gonna be a little bit more on the residential uh, second home feel. I think this is a great addition. Yes, especially this time of year. I mean, the weather's great. This is like San Diego weather at half the price. You know what I'm saying? So it's great and you really get to enjoy this, you know, through the spring season. It's wonderful. So we just talked about the kitchen, dining room, living space flowing into the outdoor space. But as we walk closer to the front door, I think it's really important to focus on this little wet bar. Super yeah. convenient location. Tell us a little bit about how all this is laid out. Well, when we design it, we just want to have fun. Yeah. Okay. And if you look at this, um, you got your hammered sink and your brush grill faucets and, tr and hardware. And there, once again, we we're talking about this, you know, the Cortisone white oak as we incorporated it with the shelving and the, and the lighting and just went really had a lot of fun with the tile. That's what's really great. And and this this is a great place to entertain and you're gonna have there's gonna be a lot of fun right here in this house over the over the years. I will say one of the coolest things about this house too is the under lighting and a lot of this. So you have it in the cabinetry in the kitchen, you obviously have it here in this wet bar, but as we come back to the entrance way, right next to the elevator, of course you have the stairs and then you have the light flowing through. It's just a really nice yeah. touch that not a lot of these houses have. So being in this entryway, obviously it's grand. Yeah. That, light. Tell us a little bit about the server here. So you have to have a bedroom on the first floor. So we designed a, a bedroom here and it's, and we, and we, and for the door entry, all our doors are one and three quarter high end interior doors. We use the reeded glass to give you pri privacy, but also give you the light flowing from outside in. So. And this room can be used as an office or a bedroom. Uh, it's set up for both, depending on who, who buys it. And and then we have, it, it's got a full bath here and walk-in closet. And we had fun with the tile of the tub in there and all the the classic watercolor colors that you would expect. So to wrap up this first floor, we check out the bedroom, check out all the main living spaces. But this bathroom here is obviously convenient for everybody in the living space. And let's talk about the little tile work over here in this laundry room as well. So. When you come in, when you enter the house, typically, uh, because this is a full-time residence, you may be coming through your garage. And so you have a, f this is your entry through, it's a full two-car garage, uh, lots of storage space is set up. And we've also insulated all the exterior walls in the ceiling. So if you do want to run a mini split, you'd like to have your cars nice and cool in the summertime, you can do it. You want to do that later. Now we've finished all the floors with epoxy, so it's easy cleanup. So you come in here with a real cool uh, entry zone bench with lockers are here. And then we're set up for a stack washer dryer and a little bit of storage. And your ice machine is over here. We didn't want to put it in the kitchen because ice machines make noise when they're being made. So it's a perfect place to put it and, and easy and handy to get to. But yeah, this is a great place to um, just enter the house, drop your shoes, hang up your coat, whatever. Now, I think that a lot of viewers that are watching this, they're gonna love your selections of tile work, not only in the laundry room. Yeah, you know, thinking that this room, obviously from a functional standpoint, everybody needs one, but having these little touches of character throughout the house really makes this house stand out. Yeah. And, and this is a real watercolor staircase because you've got a lot of windows that bring in amazing natural light as you, as you walk up the stairs. So you'll see as you come up. We always have or often have a second or third floor main living space. I think you did a great job keeping this space open, speakers, having everything vaulted. Yeah, this space is, you, you just got to have a secondary living area, especially with families. And so, you know, you can imagine kids being up here or if you want to have a football party or something and goes out to the, the deck. But we've got, you know, downstairs in the living room, we've got total surround sound and on all the porches outside in the rear. And then we've mimic it up here so you got surround sound as well here and um and we vaulted the ceilings upstairs to give you more a feeling more space downstairs you have 12 foot ceilings second floor is 10 but vaulting the ceilings makes it really feel great and that was the goal where all the wood walls continue as you go to the stairwell here it says a lot of space that, that that's that you can do whatever you need to and it's going to be quiet these floors are insulated so you're not gonna hear, it's gonna be soundproof from downstairs, that helps as well, so. We talked about that thousand square feet of outdoor space. 
Here we have more. I think the best thing we could do is probably check out that primary sweet way. Let's check it out. So we're gonna step right through here. And so this is the, basically the master ensuite gallery right here that services it. And it has its own, you know, linen closet that's built in. Then as you walk down the hallway, is your master bath. And we've, it's got a sliding door, once again with reading glass, to la it allows a natural light to come in from outside. So when you're walking through this hallway, give them more light. And take a look at this. This bathroom kind of does it all. You got your wonderful decorative tub. It's six foot. So that's it's a full size tub. His and her vanities, more storage here, under cabinet lighting. If you take a look at this this tile, this is once again is really true water classic tile. And there's uh, four water sources. You got two shower heads, you got a rain head, body spray, a bench. Yeah, I mean you're <laughs> you're gonna get it's like a, a human car wash in there. But it's you have water sources that they just make it just fun. So yeah, this whole section of the home is dedicated to the primary suite. So you, you know, king size bed will fit in here nicely. And we vaulted the ceiling here too. It makes the room feel really much, much bigger. It just feels very spacious. The house is, you know, all Sierra Pacific windows and doors. I think there was over 70 window units. You know, light and life, you know, go together. And that's what you're trying to do is bring all this light into the house. I think one thing that we missed too is we gotta check out the closet. We've left, this is the only part of the house we left unfinished because I've had a lot of requests over the years that the clients want to design their own custom closet, California closets or tailor-made or even, you know, marquee kitchens and mirrors would do them. But, and that leaves you the flexibility to do it every one because there's so much you can do with that. And then we have this unbelievable storage space upstairs in the attic. Um, and we're using these rainbow attic stairs that are much easier and safer than the old fashioned flip ladders. So we're able to do that and then access all your HVAC is up there. It makes it easy access for maintenance. So we're back by the elevator where we started and then we're gonna go towards the front of the house, which is kind of over the garage area. And so you have this hallway that leads you to this ensuite and before you get here is the main laundry for the house, which is on the second floor. And it makes sense because all the bedrooms are up here, your sheets, your towels, your clothes. This laundry room gets the job done. Yeah, they're all the vanity over here. And yeah, this tower, it's just, it's just awesome. It's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> this watercolor classic again. Yeah. Really is. Yeah, this is a really money shot right here. The, this pool is, is, is just a beautiful view to wake up to every morning. And outside is when we go outside, you'll see there's additional parking right in front of this home site, which makes this home site unique. Another benefit here. And, and you know, typically in watercolor, this is the room that's the carriage house and it has an outdoor entrance. But since we're in phase five, you know, it's non-vacation rentals, you know, either a full second home or a full-time residence. So this room is connected to the rest of the house as part of a, just a large bedroom suite. The fact that it's um, non-vacation rental. You know, we, we learned at the last HOA meeting, they reported in November that 40% of the owners in watercolor are now on, not on a rental program. And so I think that, I think St. Joe knew that. And, and that's why they made phase five, what they call park district, um, not a rental. To, and I've talked to people who are moving over here and that's why they love it because they know who's gonna be next door to them every Saturday, which is a big deal. And this is the bathroom for this ensuite. Once again, we had some tile. You'll notice all the tile patterns are a little different. They're fun, uh, but functional. And so we have basic showers, two water sources in this shower as well. You have a handheld and you have a shower head. And we've recessed, recessed it a little bit for safety, you know, in case the drain bogs up and don't catch it. but. Really, uh, that's the way you should do it. And the shower just feels good. And one of the things that I do, I think we talked about this before, is I always run a header across my shower. Have a place for the crown mold to kill out to, and you'll always tile the ceilings. Because all that steam goes up, you don't want it going on sheetrock. 
So we just finished the second floor and let's check out the complete overview of the house. We can't miss the curb appeal, the exterior of the house. I know there's a lot of money just looking at this standpoint right here. Tell us all about it. Well, that's what watercolor is about, is exterior detail. Right. When you drive down this road, you're gonna look at this home site and say, you know what, I gotta go inside because it's just, it's just inviting me inside. All the detailing we work, we've got all this custom cedar beam work throughout on the, around the roof and the porches, the super large overhangs with, with rafter tails that are three feet, you know, on an angle, and just columns and railings and mahogany shutters and these beautiful, I mean, look at these. If you focus on these mahogany garage doors, they are amazing and they tie into the front door, which is mahogany, and the kumaru, what you're seeing is the kumaru, a Brazilian hardwood porches, and all that sort of ties together and just goes gently with these pavers, and it just all works. And that's what makes you wanna walk in the front door. Yeah. So that's a complete overview of this spec that's currently on the market here at 30 String Lily Cove. If you have any questions, make sure you use the information below for a private tour next time you're at the beach. But Doug, how does someone get started doing exactly what you just did here? Call me or email me. My contact information is right on your screen. You can just click on and send me an email or just give me a call or text. Awesome. Love to hear from you. Keeping it easy, one-stop shop here along 30 Day and in Santa Rosa Beach. Can't wait to see you guys here at the beach soon.